Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. In this video, I am not in my crypto mining basement. I am at terrahosting.io and this is their staging area. And now we're gonna go into the amazing place where we're gonna meet. Hey, Red Panda Mining, welcome to Terra Hosting. Day. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Welcome, let me show you around a little bit. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit sick. We have uh, the famous Mining King, Mr. Panda. How you doing, oh, man? Oh, Mining King, it is good to see you, buddy. I have a little announcement. Whoever sends me 10 Bitcoin first, we'll get a picture of Red Panda's face. Oh my God. 10 Bitcoin, okay. 10. All right. So you heard it here first. Send King 10 Bitcoin, you'll get a picture of my face. Look at this Panda! <laughs> Man. Everyone knows hot crypto mining? Yes. Right? Yes. What's up, man? I'm doing great, bro. How doing are you? Good, doing yeah, great. right? Yeah, doing great. What are you guys up to? Inventorying, cleaning GPUs, getting prep, prepping them for deployment. Nice. So, nice. working it, man. We're working it. Bro, Panda's here. Yeah. Like, what the hell, bro? What happened? <laughs> what am I doing here? This <laughs> what, what are you doing? This is yeah, crazy. Yeah. This is crazy. This you is leave crazy. the good weather, come down here. It's right? hot. As you can see, we got. A lot of people getting ready to be deployed. We got the famous chump change. Oh. All his rigs over is he, here. Is he famous? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I think so. He made sure to put stickers on all his rigs oh, here. Of course, of course. Just to make sure of that. Of course he uh, does that. Oh, look at that pocket change is here. Yeah. That's great. So it's, you know, you can't deny that these are his. That looks great, man. I just love just the wall of optimizers here. Yeah. This is. This it is goes awesome. all the way down. We're st I, as everybody knows, we're still, you know, we're still working, right? We're still working. Like, right. there's tons of stuff everywhere. Yeah. We got another client that just sent us all these L3s, a bunch of XPs, nice. not bad. That's it's awesome. coming along. Awesome. This is an old table that was here uh, when we got the place. It was an old AT&T data center, or pop station, I think, uh, back yeah, in the yeah, day. Yeah. King would not let us throw that out. That's King's There's King's secret death. project singing bird here, okay? Yeah. That's, this is a black ops site, I swear, all right? I'm gonna find some in that desk. Fine, King, you're taking apart uh, an R8 right now? Uh, yeah, nice. I'm deploying five R8, so um, I'm nice. dry. I'm dry running them right to get their first boot because nice. sometimes the SSD corrupts right when you first get it booted. Nice. Doing the Hive replace, doing NVIDIA drivers, nice. getting the, the newest actual Hive image, getting awesome. all the new miners, everybody set up. Man, I just I love looking at this. This is probably the coolest thing. These are his rigs up here. All of his tanks. Like, like we, we didn't, he had to put a sticker on everything. Get all the uh, posters up there. Yeah, so, I saw all the banners of everybody. This is all the banners are pretty nice. We did you just send us that. We Fox TPS, New England, D minor, hobbyist, Octo minor. Yeah, no, I didn't say it. I said it. Market <laughs> change, chump no. change, DJ mines. This is general voltage. This guy, I don't know. <laughs> hey, my, my, my panda bear. Uh, don't <laughs> my don't panda do bear. that, don't my do that. My panda bear. Hawk, Hawk, Yeti, and this is King. Of course. So, awesome. We moved in, what, about two months ago? I would say, yeah, two months. Yeah, so we've been having to organize everything and do everything like that. On the other side, you guys will see it. What was originally on this floor, this is also a false floor. Right. So if you guys are lucky, we'll pop one of these off with our, our it's actually a plunger that we use. Yeah, we, use a, we use a plunger. It's now. a professional plunger. Awesome. Yeah, but uh, we're getting it all up and going. It's a work in progress. This is so, so nice. Look at this. Oh, well, let's let's go to the uh, chiller room. Yeah, we can we can show you guys the old chiller room. Long story short, when we got the building, it had two 20-ton chillers, yeah. and we had to sadly replace that with a traditional 20-ton commercial HVAC unit. You can see parts in here. We have. You know, all the old copper tubing here wow. where, you know, all the fluid would get pumped in and out. Dude, and so this this whole floor right here was, a, it was a whole handler for the chiller system. Yes. And instead of having them next to each other, it, they were on top of each other. So it actually went all the way up to like right there. You couldn't even see the ceiling. Right. 
So we had to rip all of that out. It's a 20 year old chiller system and it was a, 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 a mix between what, digital and analog, Mike? Yeah, so what they did was, here, I'm gonna shut this door, watch your back. So these things here, these old panel boxes, they used to switch everything from digital to analog. So I think it's this one, let me check this one here. I think that's the master one that yeah, controls. So, yeah. so this is the switch between digital and analog. This system's actually closer to 25 years old. Um, and it was just, this is just ant antiquated technology. Yeah, right? Nobody right. really uses this anymore. The ACs have come so far, um, so far. So exactly. And they were in these two yeah. systems here. These were their power breakers. Now this power has been reused for the AC unit, which is running outside. And uh, yeah, so there's a louver system there. We haven't really, uh, we're just scratching the surface, right? So there's nothing, not everything's being utilized yet. So like we have room to put up to 100 tons of AC in this place. Right now we're rocking with only 20, uh, cause it's a start, you know, but it's keeping yeah. everything relatively cool. The back of the aisle is about 79 degrees, which is, which is okay, which is okay. We want it a little cooler, but for right now, that's that's perfect. So, they're still working. That is the new AC unit right there. Yeah, yes. that's the new AC unit, yep. Awesome. Yep. So, yep. Mike mentioned we could have 20 tons. This is a 20 ton, and you can just keep loading them up right here. Oh, so you get more uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And so you have the intake coming in right there. These are actually automatic shutters. The old chiller system was like, a, I guess you could say a smart system from 2001, where it interacted with all the other parts of the building. Right. Um, so it was one of those things where we came in, we had to make a decision. Do we Sweet. try to do this and work with old technology and add new technology? And right. we decided just to kind of gut it and, and start fresh. Perfect. The chillers turned on, but they the water in there was everything was just old, and it was going to cost us a fortune to fix it. So I see, I see. we just decided not to do that. We went with a 20 ton, which we're probably going to get another one in the near future, awesome. just to keep everything level. Because right. this this is uh, it's a workhorse the facility. Down the line, uh, will just primarily be a data center. We eventually will move all the heavy power usage and heat out of Florida. Yeah. Um, so we're kind of building it in that way too, so that once we move all of these heavy you know, uh, machines and ASICs and, and R8s and, and Octomiters, everything like that, yeah. uh, it'll be perfectly set up as a data center. Awesome. So we actually don't need as much cooling or nearly as much cooling uh, once we get it kind of as a laid out as a data exactly. center. So right. let's go check out the next room in this huge so data this is center. Our, this is our power room. Now it's a little bit of a mess because there's a lot of power stuff here from my old facility. Uh, so there's a bunch of cables, but you can come in and you can kind of see the power infrastructure that's here. Right. So these are two um, 500 amp panels, yep. um, but they can go a lot higher than that. We just, right now they're at the 70% rule because that's what they do. Right. So two 500s, a thousand amps. Uh, this is the old generator uh, disconnect switch, which would power the generator on. Now, yep. we are gonna replace the generator, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, this is the, the switch here. This is the, uh, yeah, the main load center. Yeah. So you can see what's coming in from outside. There's a transformer in the front in the parking lot that we have right. that gets piped right to this. So you can see here we're at 480Y, uh, 1200 amps at that. So when you step it down, you can get over 2400 amps. Uh, but me and Mike learned a lot about uh, the difference between delta and Y configurations. That was a fun week. Yeah, yeah. That was lots of learning, and it's been yeah. a fun. It's been a fun two months. <laughs> yeah, but two we months. could, we would have to, we would have to expand on this infrastructure here. Uh, like Mike said, like eventually the the mining is going to go to a separate location, which we can offer cheaper services in the near future. Right. This will be a data set. This, but we start with everything here because we need to grow into it. Exactly. So that's yeah. just what it is. But we have. Rock solid power. Water tool here, 115 yep. kilowatts. Yeah, so 116. Um, but yeah, that's we, for the whole. That's for the whole building. That's the whole, yeah. building. That's the whole draw of the building, right? So, so, so there's trans, this building came with transformers everywhere. There, there's a step down in here. There's a step down on the roof. Yep. Here we we'll go over here. Okay. All right, what's this? So up here, there's another transformer up here. This is gonna power our fiber. Uh, so these things are going to power the racks that are here. Um, it's just uh, these were the. This was like a gift because we were able to put. They had this just sitting there. It wasn't being used. This panel was uh, just here, so we were able to utilize it. So um, everybody knows we're we're uh, still waiting on Lumen to come in. They're going to be our fiber internet. We're starting with 10 gigabits, but we have up to 100 gigabit access, which is going to be really really good. So obviously for mining. 
we don't even need a fraction of that. Uh, but for the servers and everything like that, we're going to need it. So um, that's why we're preparing now, so we're better prepared for the future. So move. Yeah, all the electrical work that we did for all the Octaminers and R8s and everything in this hall right here, we can utilize again for server racks like right uh, behind over here. Um, so we will be running power over here. We have another transformer in the other room. Uh, it's a smaller transformer obviously than the mining one and we're going to be running all of it under this false floor here. Um, so then you know, we'll be able to just drop all the electric straight through. This is our cumulus node rack. We're going to be filling a lot of these up with those once the fiber gets in and uh, get that going. We actually got this over in the UK. Uh, we had it shipped all the way from over there to over here. On the next rack, we have all of the tight nodes that we have. Um, so we have 10 of these back here. So that is again, nice. We're, we're waiting on the fiber, but we got good news this week. So the ball's rolling with that. They actually ran the, uh, it's a 10 gig line on a 100 gig tunnel that's dedicated internet. And, and they ran it um, yesterday morning. So they, they did that. So it's actually in our networking rack. Uh, right now and then it's going outside so it goes from the networking rack to the telephone pole and now they just need yeah. to put the stuff in the rack, yeah, put it in the rack and then yeah. connect it on the pole so so there there's you the see. lines that they just ran in here are the awesome. outlets that were recently installed so we're ready to go we're going to give lumen their entire yeah. mike just mentioned it we're going to give them the entire 42u awesome. to put all their stuff they're going to need about half of it so as we expand they're going to need their own and they like the fact that we're just we're ready to go so yeah, yeah. They're cool. They're like, oh, you're giving us a rack too? I'm like, yeah, we're giving you one. That's awesome. So no, they're great. So And this is actually what was in the old building. This, or not the old building, but when we first uh, got keys to the place, the entire facility was just this. Yeah. Uh, these, these are older racks. Yeah. These, are yeah. like, these are like, so we had about six of these and we removed them. I guess I can't, I don't know how to open this right. thing. Lucent Technologies. <laughs> yeah, there was a, these were other companies here. This is, this was actually the pop location for uh, AT&T for the uh, for where we are in Florida. So if you look here, like they had names on them. Like so, this is Vero Beach. This is just south of us. Yep. Um, and then there was another one. There was fiber optic lines, and this is Coco. This is uh, just north of us, I believe, right. or close to us. So all these lines were meeting here. Okay. So these are all the old, you know, old That's fiber really lines. Cool. And That's really cool. but this place was built like overkill. It yeah. was complete overkill because it was like when we got here, none of this was actually filled up. Right. Like it was this had never been used. Right. So they, and then they sold it like 10 years later because the technology changed and they just they did something else. So I mean, yeah, essentially it was the data center before. It was. It was designed to be. Designed to be. Yeah. full data center and uh, they never used it at its full capacity yeah. so right this is where mike just uh, mentioned before is the front end this is where we're going to host all the cumulus nodes but we're also going to we're going to see how it goes right we're going to see if we can utilize these for storage we can utilize these for you know what you know whatever we need whatever the customer's uh, heart desires yeah. now this is the cool part so everybody knows we're a flux labs partner we are a titan node provider for flux yeah. and here we are the titan nodes are all ready to go made the investment we're in it Flux is a great team to work with, and uh, we're excited. So can't wait to turn these things on. All Ryzen sevens. I made them put the stickers here because of course, of course. You know, <laughs> I, I wanted the stickers. But <laughs> but we have all this space available for Colo. So yeah. this is what we got right now, and uh, right. and we're gonna grow. If you guys didn't see my video, I got these racks for free. Well, we got these racks for free. Um, I did a YouTube video on it, where a uh, a guy, God rest his soul, he died. He owned the company that made these, and his wife was just trying to give them away. Nice. So we, uh, we we had to pick them up, and it didn't cost us anything. It was a blessing because this would have costed us a fortune. So uh, God's definitely been helping us out with that. So all this is for Colo. Great. People want to send us their stuff. Check out the pricing; it's on the website. And if you have something, we can. You know, Terrahosting.io. Terrahosting.io. Right, right. <laughs> we can. Uh, do custom invoicing and pricing. Yeah. We also got these open air ones. I've never seen these before, but I guess they're pretty popular for networking. We probably have about 70 of these, I think. These were like the yeah, bulk, we had a lot bulk of, of the, the yeah. weight. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah we also, these were such a pain. Oh yeah. my God, it was such a pain. We got some uh, uh, half racks, I guess, or these yep. half racks? Yeah, these yeah, are half. yeah, 40, uh, 24. 24U, I guess, or so, a little bit less than that. These were pretty cool, they're on wheels. Yeah. But we can move them and we could actually stack them too if we wanted. Nice. Uh, they are stackable, so that's pretty cool. They're about 20 years old, but they were brand new, so all the packaging was deteriorated. There was actually a flood in the warehouse we, or years ago, so all the crates were you know, disintegrated. It, it was a, a nightmare getting them out of there, but 
but we couldn't say no to it. So yeah, of course. Um, we, I'd take it for sure. Exactly. I mean, it was it was it honestly was like a blessing. Like Mike found it and uh, we really literally went the next day and when we got there, here's a funny story. We got there, there's this guy. He's loading all the good ones. Like we only have what? Let's see, two, four. We have six of the big ones, right? He had like 20 of the like the, the big ones in his truck already. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? I said, like, I got so mad. Mike's like, yo, just calm down, bro. Let's and I'm like, yo, he's taking all the good ones. You're leaving me with just those. Like, and we, I told you we were coming. But anyway. No, these are, these are still amazing. Yeah, so it's good. It's coming along. Everything's still working. Everything is still a progress. Yeah. We're growing. We're only two months in, and this facility is damn near maxed out. Much love to the whole community for supporting us. It's been a it's been a blessing. So a lot more to come with that. Dude, this is really cool. This is like looking at my own Octominer wall. But you guys have like a lot of them, a lot more. Let's go around over here. Look at the back sides of the Octominer wall. Oh, mining king. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? What do you want? What's, what's up here? What are you doing? I'm on. I'm trying to set up three rigs at once. Uh, three rigs at once? Uh, yeah, why not, man? But these are all Octominer X12s at the bottom. Uh, these are X8s at the top. Look at the amazing networking there. <laughs> X8s. More X12s, X8s. Looks like we got some GPUs over here. I gotta spin one fan while I'm here. Yeah. Oh yeah, what, what is this? This is a RTX 2070. Panda, you wanna see what's under this floor? Dude, I would love to. So, oh my God. <laughs> this whole facility is actually on a false floor so we can run all the electrical, all the networking, everything under this. That's sweet. That is sick. And you guys use the plunger to take it out. That's I'm sure great. there's better tools, but you know, right. it works. <laughs> that works, but, yeah. So you can do that on any any tile? On all the tiles, yes. Yeah. Just awesome. right there, the gray floor right there that awesome. King just came off of. Uh, awesome. That one doesn't come off, but um, but yeah, no, it's it's been great having this. This is my first experience with a false floor, and it's been uh, it's been great. So easy to run the wires and, and whatnot. It's been a hazard. Luckily, no one has fallen in. That's good. <laughs> uh, about half of these tiles were probably off when we were getting everything out. Those right. you know that old blue, uh, the old blue servers over there in the corner. Right. Right. Um, when we were doing all of that, running networking, running everything here, uh, it was just always a trip hazard. We were always worried about someone falling, but no one did. So that's good. That's good. Oh, no, don't fall. <laughs> I think this is like the coolest thing. <laughs> it is. It's the best hide and go seek place yeah. ever. <laughs> but no, uh, in kind of an intern, I guess you could say, that works with us. His yeah. name's uh, uh, Cool, Buster, cool Buster, I guess. Yeah. I'll, I'll just uh, use Discord names. And, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we, one day we couldn't find him, and then we're looking around everywhere, and he just pops his head up. It looks like a, a, <laughs> yeah, shark, a he's shark fin. He's like That's hiding, it. and he like creeps up like the part of it, and he goes, he drops it. I'm too big. I can't do that. Guys, thank you so much for showing me the whole facility. Oh, man. Dude. Are you kidding me? Like, yes. my life is complete now. But listen, if you guys, if anybody's interested in hosting, we are growing this company together with the crypto community. Everybody's involved. I mean, go to our website. You see our team. You're, you're going to see all the major crypto YouTubers, obviously Panda included. Of course. If you guys need hosting, hit us up. We're, gonna, we're working on lowering our prices. That just comes with as we grow. So, if you guys are interested, hit us up, terrahosting.io. I'm Hawk, that's Vistane, the Mining King is working, and let's get started. Let's go. Well guys, you heard it from Hawk. This is terrahosting.io. I've lost my voice, a little bit sick because of the humidity, but I love Florida, I love Disney World. This has been an awesome experience. Guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys think. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out. All right, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna take all of these Octominers home with me. All right, we gotta go through here.